Hello. Welcome to another episode of Cool Stuff with Kyle. I talked about it in uh, my intro video, and today we're going to talk about uranium glass, and I'm going to show you some. So, uranium glass is glass that was made um, many years ago, for the most part. There's not a whole lot of that being done anymore, just because of the, the potential dangers of working with, like, you know, powdered uranium, that kind of thing. Um, but, uh, you know, the glass itself is not dangerous. It has... Uh, it has uranium uh, in it. Um, it was originally added for color. So it made the glass either yellow or green, typically. Um, and, you know, back then they didn't probably really even know that it was going to make the glass glow under a black light. But uh, that's something that we know today that under, you know, certain ultraviolet light wavelengths, uh, uranium glass glows. And um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start showing you some of the uranium glass in my collection. So I have a cabinet here, which has mostly uranium glass in it. And I'm going to open this up here. You're going to see here's some uh, refrigerator dishes that have uranium glass, um, or they're, they're made of uranium glass. Here is uh, actually an older dish um, from the uh, late 1800s, probably. This is a pattern that's called, uh, let's see, Daisy and Button. Yeah, Daisy and Button, I believe. And uh, this one also. This this piece in particular is actually from, I believe, 1886. Really neat, I think. Um, one of my favorites. And I'm going to show you something really cool. When, um, you know, it's in normal light, all of this uranium glass is... Uh, just green or yellow looks like pretty much you know regular glass except for the color but when we turn on the black light that I have built into this cabinet it glows brilliantly and even the yellow looks green under the uh, ultraviolet light and if I turn out the lights in here maybe we'll get get a little bit of better look here so I obviously have some other things in the cabinet here that are not uh, uranium glass, like this replica of Audrey 2 here. It just has some glow elements here that have been added to it. It's another really cool thing I have. These are glass insulators. That's a topic for uh, another day. They don't glow under the light. Um, this is a Fenton piece. It's a, a bird, obviously. This is custard glass. Um, and uh, I'm going to turn the light back out because you'll be able to see some differences in these glasses much better. So with the light out you can see the custard glass is kind of a white color. It's got a little bit of a green tinge to it. Um, it does come in a lime cu custard which is uh, more green than this. This is just the regular custard glass. Uh, and I have a bell also that's Fenton and then this other uh, dish here like a candy dish kind of thing that's Fenton. Uh, the rest of these they're mostly what you call depression glass. Uh, this is a piece of depression glass. They were made typically during the time of the Great Depression. Um, and they were made very inexpensively. This is actually molded glass rather than like blown glass. So these patterns uh, on here are actually molded onto the glass. You can feel them. They're like bumpy um, because those are molded onto there. And there, there are seam lines that if you look really carefully, you can sometimes find on these. Uh, that indicate that it was, in fact, molded. Um, now, I do have some fancier pieces, such as this one here. This is one of my favorites. This is a McKee Glass Company. Um, I believe this is called a console bowl. Um, they would put it out as a centerpiece on a table or something, lay some flowers in it or something like that. Sometimes there was a piece called a frog you could put in the middle that had little holes in it. You could stick the stems in, that kind of thing. Um, but this one, I forget what this pattern is called. I think it's like sunflowers, something like that. Um, but this one is etched, actually. It's it's not molded. Um, so this is not actually depression glass. It's a different type of glass. I can't remember what it's actually called, but it, it would have been typically more expensive, you know, than depression glass. It would have been more expensive to produce, more expensive to buy. And that's why it's, it's a fancier uh, looking piece, you know, in my opinion, really, really pretty. Um, and of course I love the glow as well. I have some marbles that uh, these glow under ultraviolet light as well. Now when I go out and find these things at uh, antique stores, uh, thrift stores, things like that typically, I have 
an ultraviolet flashlight. You can get these on Amazon. Uh, so typically 395 nanometers. That's a typical black light. Cheap 395 millimeters is what you usually get with a black light or an ultraviolet light. Um, that is what you want to find something like this uh, with uranium in it. And uh, that's going to glow under any of the black lights that you buy typically like these LED strips that I have purchased here. Um, so that's what you want to use as a 395 nanometer light to find the things that are going to glow nicely if you set up a cabinet like mine. Um, this light actually will also do 365 nanometers. It, it has some different light modes here. Glows more brilliantly under the 395. But the 365 will also find other things that glow, like manganese glass or cadmium glass. Um, but those things don't glow well in here, which is why you probably want to use the 395 when you're searching for uranium glass for like a glow cabinet like what I have here. Um, so that's just kind of a, a little bit about the uranium glass, uh, the depression glass and other types of uranium glass. Um, there's a lot more I could say about it, but um, we're just going to leave this video with that for now. Leave you with a nice little uh, view of the glow here. I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, remember that the world is full of cool stuff. Go out and find some.